Perplexity is my go-to AI search engine, but it's far more than just a search tool. It's actually a lot more useful than that. So in this one video, I wanna show you everything it has to offer. And we'll start here with the free plan, and then I'll show you more advanced tools that are included in the pro plan and the max plan. And I'll also show you something called Perplexity Comet, which is their AI powered browser. Okay, to access Perplexity, you just go to perplexity.ai and create yourself a free account. And when it comes to the different tiers they have, this is the first one I'm gonna show you. This is the free plan. It does have some limitations, especially with the tools you have access to. Then we'll upgrade to the pro plan here. The pro plan unlocks a whole lot more. So this is $20 a month. And they have something called the max plan that's $200 a month. This unlocks a lot more that's included in the pro plan, including unlimited access to things. But it also gives you access to something called Comet, which is an agentic browser. This is what I'm gonna show you at the end. Okay, the very first option I wanna show you is how to just do basic searches with Perplexity, which you get unlimited access to with the free account. So all you have to do is click over here and type in your prompt. You could ask for anything and it will give you some recommendation based on what's happening today. So right now, if I click on one of those, this is how it goes to work. And it will give you the answer this way with sources, which is really useful. And if you scroll to the bottom, it will give you related questions so you could dive a little bit deeper without having to come up with a follow-up prompt. If you wanna ask for a follow-up prompt, you could type that yourself down here. And on top, it will break down the answers into the text format answer, into images if you just wanna search for images. It will show you the sources so you can see where all the different websites that you had to crawl to get that answer. And it will show you the steps. Typically, it works in step-by-step, -step, goes through individual websites, and then combines everything together in the answer format. And as you saw, it's really, really fast too. So instead of using Google and then finding different links, clicking on them, and then going through that path, you could just use perplexity. You see, it just gives you the answer from all kinds of different sources in one go. The second one I wanted to show you is also a search option, but if you click this right here, they have something called Pro Search. And by default, this is turned on, but it only gives you three a day, and then you will have to upgrade to Pro to get more access to the Pro Search. Now the Pro Search, is a lot more in depth and he usually does a much better job and he uses better AI models in the background. I'll show you that when we get to that point. But if I send the same question, it may look like it's working the same way, but the answers are typically a lot better. This is the main reason I actually have a pro account because I found it compared to the free accounts, I just get better answers because it's using more powerful AI models in the background. Now I could show you that right here. If I hover over this tab right here, the pro search uses these top AI models. So for example, uses GPT-5 and you don't have to even pick. It does this in the background. Now by default, Sonar is the one that's being used in the free version. So if you wanna use Claude or if you wanna use GPT-5 or Gemini from Google, Again, it does it by itself, or you could select them if you really want to choose which one. And most of those are in the pro plan. So if you try to select them, it will try to get you to subscribe to the pro plan. But in most cases, you don't have to worry about it. If you run out of pro search, you will have to upgrade. So we'll talk about upgrading and all the different models when we get to the paid versions. Okay, the next one I wanted to show you is actually how to filter what it searches. So if I ask for any type of question here, I could click this globe icon here and it's going to search the web. So this is just a regular search that I showed you in the beginning. But if you want, you could turn on other things to search. So for example, if you were searching for academic papers, you could turn this on and even turn off the web option. So you have different options to choose from. If you wanted to search things on social channels and discussions on things like Reddit, you could go ahead and turn that on. If you want finance, filings, you could turn that on. Or if you're just doing a finance search, turn everything else off and it will just go ahead and do a search that way. I'm gonna turn everything on and I'm gonna send this out. And now the answer kind of looks the same, but if I go to sources, I will most likely see new sources that I wouldn't otherwise see because I've turned on access to other things. You can see it's got a lot more sources and it's pulling all kinds of different things from the scc.gov website. And it's pulling things from Reddit because I chose the social tab too. Now, the next option I wanted to show you is with every single answer, you could actually share this answer like this. It will copy the link. You could export the answer as well. 
and you could get it directly with a PDF download. So let me just show you what this looks like. So you could see this is really nicely formatted over here and it shows you the sources on the bottom. And if you open it inside of Adobe Acrobat, for example, if you wanted to edit that, you could do that. Or you could also export it as a Microsoft Word document too. So a Word doc, and this is what the Word doc version of it looks like. And you can make any type of edit here that you want to just like any regular Word doc. Now the sharing option is also available here. So instead of copying it, you could share it this way. So just copy the link directly from here. And you also have this private option, only the author can view this. So if you don't wanna share it anymore, let's say you've shared this link before, you can change it to private. Now the next one I wanted to show you is right over here. You could add files and then have it analyze files for you in addition to the search options that it has. So this again is gonna be limited with the free account, but if you click right here, I could upload a document and then you could ask for it to compare something that you've uploaded like the NASA mission here versus the previous one. And it will go ahead and read your document here, which is really, really useful. You could do up to three different documents right now with the free plan. And here's the answer. And it combined, if I go to sources, our attachments, as well as things like YouTube and different websites and social links too. Now, I also wanna show you a brand new way to chat with your own notes. And I've been using this tool for a while. It's called Recall. And it has honestly become my go-to for saving stuff that I come across that I don't wanna forget about online. So any type of YouTube videos, any type of podcast, PDFs, articles, even my own notes. And Recall has a Chrome extension that makes it really easy to use. As soon as I come across something online that I wanna save, I click it and it automatically saves it for me. It also tags it automatically, organizes it, and it connects it to everything else I've saved. But here's the key thing they just launched. You can now chat with your entire knowledge base. So instead of scrolling through different notes or different bookmarks, you could just ask recall a question and it pulls the answer from the content that I've personally saved. It's like Googling my own brain, but with the information that I actually trust, the information I've handpicked. Now this is totally different than apps like Notebook LM where you could chat with your own notes in a specific notebook, right? Recall is your personal knowledge base for all your content. It is not folder-based research. Now I have a link in the description where you could subscribe to Recall today and I have a promo code where you could use it to get a discount and you could be among one of the first to experience their latest release where you could chat with your entire knowledge base using simple text prompts. Okay, I have a couple more inside of the free plan then we'll go ahead and go to the paid plan. But inside of the free plan, you could also use dictation here. So if you turn this on, it will just use your microphone here on your computer and type for you. The other option you have is the voice mode, which is fantastic and it's really useful on the phone. So Perplexity has a mobile app and I recommend trying the voice mode there. And the free plan also has this thing called Spaces. And Spaces basically lets you organize things based on different sources or based on a different topic. So you could see, for example, they have some templates. So let's go to technology here. Getting started with Perplexity has its own space. If I go to that space, this is what it looks like where I could just chat with different things related to that very specific topic. This comes in really, really useful, especially when you start creating your own spaces, which you can create inside of the free account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a search right over here. It's gonna give me an answer. But now if I go to the top and if I click these three dots, this is in this new space right over here. So I'm gonna go back to my spaces tab and this is the new space and I could go ahead and name this space. So this is my GPT-5 research. I could leave a little description and any thread or conversation related to that will be saved over here. And if I send out another search over here and then if I go back to spaces again after that search, you'll see I have two threads. You could also upload files here. You could add links. And with spaces, you could also add instructions. So this lets you type in a prompt to change its tone, for example, and the way it responds to you. So this is extremely useful. And you could also sync it to other files. So if I click the plus sign right here, I could sync these to any type of file that I upload from here or any type of link that I add over here. So that kind of becomes your knowledge base that you could add over here. In addition to that, you could add links and files over here as well. Any computer files that you have, you could go ahead and upload those and then they will be added to your spaces. So spaces, it's really useful. If you ever use ChatGPT, they have something called custom GPTs. 
Claude has something called projects. And those are all very, very useful tools. So space is one of the best things inside of the free plan. Okay, now let's go ahead and explore the pro plan. So with the pro plan, the very first thing you get is you're going to get a whole lot more of this pro search. So again, this is going to be three times more sources with more powerful models in the background, unlimited access for subscribers. It's going to be a totally different search experience using that versus using the free one. It's not super obvious the first time around, but after you use this often, you'll notice that these pro searches are a lot better. And the cool thing about the pro search is if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and use the best model and choose it on your own. So if you wanted to use GPT-5, you could choose that and it will use that in a search. Now, this best option is my favorite because it makes it really easy. You don't have to even know what all these models are, but by default, it's just gonna always be set to best and I don't usually change it. I don't really need it to change. Back in the day before GPT-5 came out, I sometimes liked Claude's writing style more, but GPT-5 does a really good job with its default writing style. So it will pick that if it needs to use that. And this is gonna be an ad free experience. So if you do upgrade, the free version will have some ads. This won't have any ads. Okay, the next one here with the pro option is with the upload option, you're not limited. That is a huge limitation with the free account where you have three things you could upload. Now you don't have that limit and you could do local files, things on your computer, but you could also connect directly to Google Drive and Dropbox. And I use both of these all the time. And now with Google Drive connected, I could just click here. And I could search for any file I have inside of my Google Drive, bring it in and have any type of conversation here with it. And remember, you could use that as a source and then have it look stuff up in the web and then combine that into a really nice answer. Now, the next useful one is right here, which is available with the pro search, which is research. This is deep research on any topic. So search is your regular quick search, like a Google search. Deep research is a whole different experience. So for example, right here, I'm going to choose one of these options. Plan a three month trip across Europe on a 10K budget. Let's see how that goes. And these usually take much longer than a regular search. So this says three minutes left to gather resources and it will go through a whole lot more websites. Usually sometimes like a hundred different websites and it puts together something really, really unique. I'll show you this in a second. Okay, so it only took a couple of minutes in this case. Sometimes it might take up to like 10 minutes. But you could see the answer is far more in depth and way different formatting than your regular search. So this is also available in other apps like Google Gemini and ChatGPT. They're usually called deep research, but it's one of my favorite all time AI tools. It will just give you some things that are just far more useful than anything you get from a traditional search. And then again, you could export it from here. But if I go under the assets tab, you could see it creates a lot of different files for it to work with. So you actually wrote code to do things. It created tables here. It created charts, right? It all got created. You don't have to look at these assets. They're typically inside of your research mode, but it also went through a lot of different steps. You can see all these different links you had to go through to come up with that. And the sources in this case was 79 different sources to give us this comprehensive research. Now this also generates images with some of the best image models. Okay, so I'm gonna say create a poster with a picture of a dog with bold text reading my best friend to make sure you could also do text here. Let me let this finish up. Oh, it almost worked, but it is missing the D here in the word. So in my experience, ChatGPT usually does a better job, even though this is technically using ChatGPT models in the background. I haven't found it do a really great job with text, but it does do a really great job with photos, especially if you really define it in your prompt. Okay, next let's talk about perplexity pages. So you could actually turn any research into a really nicely formatted public web page. So let's say I just did this quick search here. If I press the three dots right here, we talked about spaces already, but you could convert this to pages. So if I click this, it rewrites it in a whole different format and it will grab things like images and make it really beautiful here. Okay, so as you see, after a couple of minutes, the formatting is completely different than before, right? It has different sections that I could jump into. And on the very bottom of it, I have a way different formatting option where I could type in which section I wanna change and how I wanna format it. 
And if you want to add any type of images, if you press add media right here and right here, I could just click generate image. So this is going to use AI to generate an image based on the content of that. Or you could upload. This is a traditional way of uploading to a blog post. So it will take something from your own computer. And when you're happy and you've done all the editing, you could also press publish right on top over here. This is going to publish it as a public web page. And then it will give you this link right here and you could share this link with anyone you want. Now, next, I want to show you Perplexity Labs, which is this icon right over here. And with labs, you get 50 different questions per month. So this one, you may want to get the max plan that unlocks a lot more usage out of it, but it's very, very useful. So I'll show you how it works. I'm going to type in this prompt here to create a real time visual dashboard that shows things like top 10 performing stocks today, price of Bitcoin and so on. This is going to work a whole different way than everything else I've shown you inside of perplexity. So it's going to do some thinking here. It's going to do step by step reasoning. It's going to figure out exactly what I'm asking. And usually in around five, 10 minutes, depending on how complex of a task, it's actually going to build me an app inside of perplexity. I'll show you when it's done. OK, it took about six, seven minutes here. It's made this financial dashboard for us. And if you go to the app tab, you could actually use it. So I'm going to make this full screen to show you what it looks like. So this was all created from that single prompt I gave to perplexity using labs. So we have on top our Bitcoin price, our top gainers. And I might want to do some adjustments here with how this is formatted. And I got the top 10 performing stocks here. And the nice thing is this actually is a search engine, right? So we went and found this information. So this is live data over here. It's created a chart for us. We got our detailed view over here. And this is also shareable, which is really nice. OK, and finally, I want to show you perplexity comment. Right now, this is only available to the max plan, but it is rolling out slowly to the pro plan users, too. This is going to be an entire browser right now. I'm not using it. I'm on Chrome right now but I do have it. So let me show you how it works. OK, this is the Comet browser. This is the home page of it. And it looks a lot like perplexity. So you'll have your regular perplexity search bar where you could go ahead and ask any questions here. You still have all the functions. I'm logged into the same account. So I have research mode. I have labs available. All the different models are available for my choosing. So all the things I showed you here are still the same. But now if I type in slash, I could actually see some new options available. So if I select something and if I send this out, it's actually going to let me know how to use Comet, which is really useful. But let me show you where the real power of this is besides some of the basic stuff that you could figure out, like, for example, adding widgets and really customizing this home page. The real power of this is this thing called the assistant. Now, the assistant is going to let you do a whole lot more things. And here are some examples. I do have an entirely dedicated video to comment, so I'll save a lot of these for later. But let me show you one of my favorites. If I'm on a web page using comment, I also have assistant right over here. So I could click right here. Assistant gets launched over here and I could ask any question like recap this in one paragraph. And he knows that I'm asking about this specific web page here. So it's going to go to work and it's going to go ahead and recap it for me. And the source is going to be just the page that I'm on. So having the ability to quickly chat with everything that you're looking at online without any third party extension, without another subscription, all included here with perplexity on your browser with comment. Really, really cool. And it has other cool use cases too, like close all tabs older than today or close all my distraction tabs. So now you are looking at something that has not been possible before an AI powered browser that kind of understands everything that's going on on your browser, not just an individual web page. So if I click this right here, it's going to go to work. The assistant is going to get launched and you could see my two other tabs on TikTok and Instagram just disappeared. A lot of times I have a lot of tabs open. So a lot of times I want to close older tabs or I want to recap my emails or I want to go back to an existing YouTube video that I was already watching that I left off. Well, this could do all of that because it kind of knows everything that's going on on your browser and you're not using a third party tool to do it. So that should give you a big picture of everything perplexity has to offer. And if you're new to my channel, I also have a learning platform that teaches AI and all the latest tools and techniques 
and we update that all the time. Right now we're updating it for GPT-5. A lot of our courses going through an update. You get access to well over 20 different courses with seven expert instructors and it's an all-in-one bundle. So you can watch as many videos as you want, as many courses as you want. We have a community, downloadable resources and a lot more. And right now we still have a free trial so you can make sure it's a good fit for you. I also made a similar video about Google Gemini and all the features that has. You can watch that here next.